What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different. Have some fun and be yourself guys. But later tonight, the Penguins are playing uh, an outdoor game, a stadium classic against the Philadelphia Flyers. And their jerseys are really, really cool in my opinion. Um, let me just show you right now. I think they're really cool. Um, well, obviously, because I like the Penguins. But I hear a lot of people that are not like Penguins fans saying that they're cool. And so let me just show you. So they, it's a stadium classic. Um, is And see, they're playing um, right. In, like, oh, okay. I guess Columbus won last night. Um, but... Okay, so I didn't know this actually. This is off track, but the Pittsburgh Penguins have have the longest postseason streak appearance in the NHL, 12 seasons. That's pretty good. Um, let's see, Stadium Classic, Stadium Series jerseys. In my opinion, they're pretty cool. Um, here, uh, here uh, where? Um, see, here are the jerseys. Um, so th those are the Penguins jerseys. That's Philadelphia's jerseys. I love Pittsburgh's jerseys. And this is like the thing. It's a great day for hockey. And so that is really cool. Um, but let me show you the helmets. Uh, these are the helmets. If you guys. Those are the helmets. Those are pretty cool. Um, let me show you. Let me just pull up the Instagram right now. And show you. Um, Pittsburgh's. Uh, Instagram because I'm not sure if this is the like what the, if that is it um, but here is here's this this is like the thing this is today and um, this is a Pittsburgh against Philadelphia clause rule against Sidney Crosby and uh, here, the practice, these are the practice jerseys. The, those are pretty cool. Those are really nice practice jerseys. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for this game. I honestly hope Pittsburgh wins. Uh, these are the helmets, like I've already showed you. So, this is like the hype for the game tonight. It's at 8 o'clock. Um, I'm going to watch it. We're having a little bit of a party tonight. Not for this game. Just in general. We're just having a party. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm excited, honestly. Because it's, a uh, Here's, like, the stadium series. The coverage. Uh, it's in, it's in Philadelphia. So, that's the helmets like I've already showed you. These are the practice jerseys. Phil and Sid. Phil again. The, these are really, really cool. Like, those numbers, they should have worn these. These are really cool. Um, the boys are just getting hyped for the game. I honestly hope they win. Malkin has been on the tear lately. Murray, uh, Zach Aston Reese was just answering a couple questions. And uh, again, they're, those jerseys are really nice. The gloves are really nice as well. And uh, Matt Cullen, Crosby. See, they should have, I don't know, the practice jerseys are so cool. Like, look at that logo. That's a really cool logo. But, uh, yeah, so, honestly, um, I'm excited for this game. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. So I just got done finishing my homework. I just finished some English. My pre I just finished my English presentation. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna have some popcorn. And uh, this buttered popcorn is pretty cool. This is not a brand deal, um, but this popcorn is really, really good. So I'm just gonna make this popcorn. And we have some snacks for tonight because we are having a little bit of a party, like I said before. But it's not for the Penguins game. It's just a little party that we're just having. And just somehow the Penguins 
play tonight and it is an outdoor game so we'll be watching that game well i will be watching that game for sure but uh yeah so i'm just gonna make some popcorn my popcorn now and I was just watching some Spongebob and uh, we have to go clean the basement right now and then we're going outside but right now we have to go clean the basement because we're having a party tonight so um, I'll see you guys outside After. so you know it's good it's quite pungent oh, yeah. stings the nostrils in a good way yeah Brian I'm gonna be honest with you that smells like pure gasoline 60% of the time, it works. We are done finishing the basement, cleaning that basement, but we're gonna go, we're playing, we're playing outside now. John is coming soon, but uh, our net is a little destroyed. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have to fix that to the best we can, but I'm wearing my slippers now, even though it's like negative something. There's no snow on the driveway, but there's snow everywhere else. Um, and I'm just wearing a sweater because it's honestly the sun is pretty nice outside. Yeah, so we're gonna play outside Every time That doesn't make sense So we are just wrapping up now and uh, it was fun. I made a couple of saves We had two nets going and uh, if John scored on me uh, He got a point he got a goal, we went to 20. And if I scored on him, um, I'd get a goal. So I ended up winning 20 to 19, yeah. So, more trades happened in the NHL. And if you don't know by now, um, there were there were big trades happening so yesterday um where is it yesterday okay yesterday friday well friday so it happened on friday two trades happened on friday then a couple trade one another trade happened the other day so this was a huge one the Columbus Blue Jackets acquired Matt Duchesne. Matt Duchesne. And Julius Bergman. And Ottawa acquired Vitaly Abramov and Jonathan Davidson. They're both forwards. Nashville got a Matt Duchesne and a defenseman. Ottawa got a 2019 first round pick and a 2020 condition, conditional first round pick. And... That, that's it's gonna hurt Pittsburgh the reason why Columbus is in Metro and you know why I think they tr got Matthew Shane is because first Artemi Panarin and secondly Sergei Bobrovsky do not like they don't want to sign so I think Columbus um, that was their tactic to get a good player to like, stick with their team and maybe convince Artemi Panarin and Sergei, Sergei Bobrovsky to, sh to, uh, to stay and the second trade was um, the the Detroit Red Wings traded Nick Jansen, a defenseman, to the Washington Capitals for, and a 2019 fifth round pick. And and uh, Detroit acquired defenseman Madison Bowie and a 2020 second round pick. So. There was another trade. This one in particularly 
hurts Pittsburgh a lot. Um, here it is. The Washington Capitals acquired forward Carl Hagelin and Wash and sorry and LA acquired a 2019 third round pick and a 2020 sixth round pick, which is conditional. The reason why this hurts the Penguins the most is Carl Hagelin is super fast. They traded him away this season and now he's on Washington and he's going up against them and possibly the chance to meet them in the playoffs. I don't know, Carl Hagelin is a good player and Washington added speed to their team and um, another trade uh, happened as well and um, the Boston Bruins acquired um, center Charlie Coyle and Minnesota acquired center Ryan Donato and a conditional fifth round pick. Yeah, so a couple of those trades are going to hurt Pittsburgh. Um, Matt Duchesne's going to hurt, so is Carl Hagelin, but Carl Hagelin hurts the most since he was on Pittsburgh before, and now he's the enemy. Yeah, so uh, there's your updates with trades. <laughs>
But, uh, yeah, so, I know this video is a little bit, like, weird and out of context because it's now the next morning and it was, like, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so, it is the next morning, it is 11.52, and I'm just gonna have to end off the video, guys. So, I would basically like to thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you'd like to watch another video, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. See, Savage Mind. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.